Guys, Simon Ekba and the Igbos have stand to fight for the rights and freedom of Amaka. The lady who went viral for saying that she wants to put a top here in some people's food out of anger. Now they are fighting for a right. Samo Ekba wrote to Canada government telling them that she did this out of anger and dropped some evidence whereby some people have been saying that they want to start burning the evil houses and shop in Lagos. So that might be the reason that triggered that woman and gonna make her say the statement she said. Though it's very wrong. In this video, you see that some people they are still adding more fire more fuel into the fire that is already burning i don't really know the reason of tribal war in nigeria what is the main cause of tribal war why this hatred for ourselves all these nigerian leaders i'm so ashamed of you people the way you people go about solving issues your body language also shows that you are in support of this tribalism that is going on in this country because sometimes body language tells a lot now, first of all, I am not in the business of hate and tribalism. Everybody who knows me and knows my page, I don't support it in any way. But I must tell you that our Nigerian leaders have a way of directly or indirectly promoting tribalism. And I will explain why. Your body language tells a lot. Now, I am not in support of what Amaka said about his, her hate on the Yorubas and the Edo people. So whatever action is taken against her, fine, I have no problem with that. But my question goes to the level of hypocrisy in the Nigerian leadership. Since 2023 to date, it has, all, it has been all about Igbos. Igbos must go. This, that. But if you go to the internet, you can't stay two minutes with some kind of tribes. Igbos must go. This, that. Igbos are this. Igbos are that. Igbos are that. There is no action that was ever taken against any of these people. But just one lady who got emotional about the whole attack because of the pressure that has been going on since 2023 to date, all of a sudden, vroom, you people have taken action. Why didn't you take action against the Yorubas that have been saying Igbo must go all these years? No action taken against them. But one Igbo lady just said one thing and brrr, you people have taken sweet action. That body language tells a lot about your tribalist nature. That body language tells a lot about your level of hypocrisy. If you want justice in Nigeria, just as you punish this lady, you are supposed to be punishing every other one that has been preaching hate on the Igbos since 2023 today. This hypocrisy is too much for us to be. If you don't like the Igbos, let us go. You don't want to let us go. You don't want to let us even have peace in the land again. You want us to stay. What kind of hypocrisy is this? You will not give us peace of mind. Everywhere you go, Igbos must go. Igbos must go. The hate is so strong on the internet now. You will not take justice against these people that are perpetrating all this nonsense. Just one lady from the Igbo now. Brr, look at the way you took swift action. Take that same action with all the Yorubas that have been insulting us since 2023 to date. Let's know there is fairness and justice in this nation. What level of hypocrisy is this? You don't want us to go. Allow us to stay in peace. No. You don't want us to be in peace. You don't want us to go because you want the resources in our backyard. What kind of level of hypocrisy in this country? Seriously, I'm not happy with this nonsense. Oh, see, man, I know that they're not tell you that they're talking for your back, but of course, trust me to tell you this fire where you define you never tire. Ebo do this one, Ebo do that one, you not rest. You sure say as they define this woman for Canada, not because they're supposed to define you for UK. One hour I listen to your life today. Ebo go up, Ebo go that, Ebo do that, Ebo do Ebo. Can you focus on who offend you and leave a tribe alone? At this volatile moment, can you rest in Jesus' name? You fit? It not like you. I took time to go through your page today 99% of your contact is anti evil you would do anything to wipe people off the face of the earth they say you were once a biafra member money cost issue you come up for biafra now you are anti biafra congratulations for your repentance can you focus on biafra that you want to ridicule and leave the rest ebos alone besides it's not every Igbo man that is in support of biafra you won't put on for a good swear say no Igbo man good for nigeria now be now now be they say 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 so they say go scatter this country bonus Sit down for our broad spread brocos, they chop chocolate, they cause war for we are for call. They swear for now, they swear say the aspira content creators no get sense. You see, say fire, they burn you, they fan them, you they add firewood. So the essence that you said that the end bad governance protest with just this was Biafra. What the fuck are you? She una de Chris. Ha ha. Is this all for social media money? Coins and caps. 
Roses and ice cream, man. What the fuck? I listened to your live video for one hour plus. I did cringe. And so things some idiots were tapping on their screen like slaves supporting you. I realized that Nigeria is not ready. We deserve the leaders we have. But at the use of goods, they beg you again, Usima. Leave these people alone. You all should allow peace reign in Nigeria. There was a battle on guard. Please, what is the federal government doing about it? This is very, very important. What is the federal government doing about it? You see, all these people that have been giving us a bad name all over the world, some group of people, especially one tribe in Nigeria, the Igbo tribe, have been giving Nigerians a bad name for a very long time. What is the federal government doing about it? Because the stigmatization is getting too much. And now, anywhere you go abroad, they will ask you, are you a Nigerian? And they, they need to question you. And the reason why they are questioning us is because of one tribe, Igbo tribe, what they have done. You see, the news is all over the world. You know, what Igbos have done all over the world. And, and, and the foreigners are saying Nigerians. But these are Igbos that have committed this crime. And now the foreigners are saying Nigerians. Now look at what has happened in South Africa. They are now, there's a stigmatization on Nigerians in South Africa because of Igbos. The stigmatization of, 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 uh, of, of, um, of of nigerians in the uk because of the Igbos. this is stigmatization of of nigerians in in india in in malaysia in indonesia or in pakistan because of the Igbos. so what is the federal government doing about this because only one tribe out of more than 250 tribes in nigeria cannot give nigeria a bad name i am so worried that the federal government is not doing anything about it because these people will go to indonesia they carry drugs illicit activities they commit crime and they put it on nigerians and now they are questioning nigerians everywhere we go our passport they are questioning our passport why is the federal government allowing one tribe to give nigeria a bad name to give our passport a bad name a bad reputation that is why i'm asking what is the federal government doing about it you know when when people commit crime all over the world they call they say nigerians because these foreigners they don't know they just say nigerians but why is the federal government allowing this to happen so so I'm calling, I'm, I'm asking the federal government because this is getting too much. This is getting out of hand and that the federal government is not doing anything. And you know, the thing that touched me the most is that when these Igbos, when they commit the crimes and they deport them back to Nigeria, there is nothing, there is no action at all. There is no punishment at all by the Nigerian government. They just allow them to integrate into the, into the society just like that. And they continue in their crime. Look at in the UK. If somebody commits a crime, you will have a criminal record that it to be put on your record and it's difficult sometimes it's difficult for you to get a job to even rent a house but in nigeria these people will commit crime abroad and when they when when they deport them back to nigeria the nigerian government don't do anything don't take any action no wonder the Igbos are very very proud to continue to commit all these crimes that we are seeing everywhere look at yesterday the woman that 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 that, that uh, said that she's going to poison everybody poison the yorubas poison the edos she came out and was so proud she was so proud and boasting that she's a Canadian uh, 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 citizen that there's nothing that the federal government will do about it. Nin Nigerian government has been giving the Igbos a very upper hand. For the, for, in fact, let me even tell you something. For the fact that the Nigerian government allowed the Igbos to travel to every part of Nigeria and they will go there and commit one kind of crimes. They kidnap our brothers and sisters in Lagos. They kidnap our brothers and sisters in, 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 in Akwaibom. They kidnap our brothers and sisters in, in, in Kaduna, in River State and everything. They, they do all kinds of things they do all kinds of crimes and the federal government still allow one tribe to continue to do this thing no 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 i'm calling it out because it is it is very very important we have the data we have the data of the people that are in prison in in, in pakistan we have the data of the people that are in prison in indonesia in south africa in everywhere most african countries and abroad these people the 99 percent of the the, the the people in these prisons because of their their crime of pushing drugs or illicit activities or illegal activities are Igbos. And the federal government still allow these people to give us a bad name. Back home in Nigeria, they are the ones calling Nigeria a zoo. They are the ones giving Nigeria a bad name. They are the ones committing crimes anywhere they go. They are the ones claiming people's land. They are the ones trying to change our ethnicity, trying to change our Kwaibum ethnicity to Igbo ethnicity. I'm questioning the federal government. What is the federal government doing about it? Because the federal government have allowed this particular tribe to continue to spoil the name of Nigeria, both home and abroad. What is the federal government uh, doing about it?
And there's a bigger threat coming in the future. In case you people don't know, Igbos are now changing their names. Oh, Igbos are now changing their names to Yoruba, changing their names to Akwaibom, changing their names to Delta, and they are even speaking our languages. Is the federal government not understanding that there, that there is an impending future crisis, doom, danger that is coming? Is, is the federal government not aware that Igbos are not taking the Yoruba names? Igbos are not taking the Akwaibo name, Kaduna name, you know, the Hausa name, you know, Ikwede names. And they are speaking our languages. There is an impending future uh, a crisis that is coming and danger. And when they commit this crime, if you don't know, if you don't do a proper investigation, you will never know that these guys are Igbos because they speak our languages. Does the federal government don't understand what we are talking about? Why is the government of Nigeria always allowing things to get out of hand? Where are our, our, our leaders, our politicians? What are you doing? Are you, is it not the duty of the federal government to protect every other nationalities, every other ethnicity, every other citizen in the country? Because these guys are changing their names, speaking our languages, living in our spaces. You saw what happened during the last election, 2023. They are now contesting election in our communities, in our local government. Even when they are not from Lagos, they say they are from Lagos because they cannot speak the language, they are not bearing the, our names. Even when they are not from Akwaibom, they say they are from Akwaibom because they can speak Akwaibom and they are answering Akwaibom name and they are contesting in elections in Akwaibom. Local elections in Akwaibom. What is the federal government doing it? Okay, is it, is it part of the federal character i'm asking questions please i want those people concerned people in power the authorities in nigeria to look at what i just saw, what, what what i'm talking about as an investigative journalist i can i can give you data of people changing their names to acquire them to yorubas to equate and speaking our languages and now they are not contesting ele election in our in our communities what is the federal government doing about this this is very very important i'm suggesting just like every other person is suggesting that the that that the federal government take a look at this. Maybe there should be an, a, a presidential executive order that if you are if you are found one thing, there should be a criminal record back home in Nigeria too. There should be a record. There should be some form of punishment to discourage this group of people from doing what they are doing. They have been doing it for a very long time, and we are saying enough is enough. I'm asking the federal government why will the federal government continue to give one tribe, the Igbo tribe, the authority to continue to to uh, to marginalize every every other ethnicity, to continue to change every other ethnicity, to even draw map in the name of beer fraud, to continue to do all the activities without the federal government taking action. I'm asking the federal government, what are you doing about this? You see, this month of August will never be forgotten in the history of Nigeria and the Biafra struggle. We will engage these terrorists ruthlessly. And as you all know, the Biafra government has taken measures additional anti-terrorism measures, anti-sabotage measures, which the government has adopted, and the result will be coming out in a few days or weeks to come. One of those measures being that from the 30th of this August, there will be no additional entrance of cows through the bushes and the border of Biafra land. Two, there will be no movement of cows interstate movement of cows through the forest and if you violate this particular law and measures that the Biafra government have introduced in order to curb and fight these terrorists in our land believe me we don't ask questions and we don't have prisons we do not have prison yard or facilities or correctional facilities this is an official announcement that from the 30th of august every movement of cows in the bushes are banned completely banned and remember that this pronouncement has never been made since the beginning of the liberation of Biafra. Even when the, the corrupt idiots were making their laws of the movement of cow and the terrorists and all that, which were never enforced, from the Yoruba land down to the Biafra land. Many of these fake people paraded themselves as representative of the people has one point in time tried to ban the movement of cows because these are terrorists who follow them. and all this why we have been observing waiting for a moment like this when they have attacked us and the evidence is there so from the 30th of august and i know that before 30th of august they are going to unleash mayhem on our people but believe me whatever happens 
know that the Afra government is equal to the tax. We will never deviate from engaging their counterpart in the uniform. From the 30th of August, we will face those terrorists in the bush. And I promise the Afra people that under this government, we will eradicate the interstate movement of terrorists with their cows from one place to another. It is our focus. And that particular measures has been taken, considered by the government and the Biafra Defense Forces, and implementation will follow ruthlessly. So Biafra people, all you need remain the support to the government, and we thank you for the support you have given so far by making sure that you are speaking in one voice like never before. The Nigeria state are quaking and panicking. Those one Nigeria gullible, idiotic fraud stars, the internet criminals are quaking and trebling because they have seen that Biafrans are all behind the Biafra government. And it shocked them. And more of this will be coming, more of the hate will be coming because they see that you are now coming back in unison and becoming unified. That unity is exactly what this tour is targeted at achieving. We thank you in homeland, Biafra de facto government in the homeland, who have smartly conducted and conducting the self-referendum, and we have seen over 50 million votes. Still counting, because the voting will end November 28. I want to thank you for your belief and trust in the Biafra government. The changes you crave for, the nation you are fighting for, you will enjoy it. I want you to understand that many propaganda will come because they see Prime Minister of Biafra is standing very strong. And I am telling you all that I will be the end of Nigeria. I have said this severally. I will say it again. I will be the end of Nigeria. Somebody has to be the end of Nigeria. Somebody has to do it. I am here to do it. We are here to fight and pass freedom onto our new generation and not this situation, not this slavery, not this new colonialism that have destroyed the future of our people. Biafra will be the beginning of civilization in Africa. We have introduced the most acceptable democratic system by allowing Biafrans to speak by participating in free will voting for their self-referendum. And of course, the pathway to freedom is after the referendum has been conducted in Finland, we will gather from the 29th of November to 3rd of December 2024, where delegation from all over the world will gather to append their signatures to confirm the consent given to them by the Biafra people to declare the restoration of independence of Biafra.